Love is awful. It's painful and it's frightening. It makes you doubt yourself. Judge yourself. Distance yourself from the other people in your life. It makes you selfish. It makes you creepy. Do stupid stuff with your hair. It makes you cruel. It makes you say and do things you never thought you would do. It's all any of us want and it's hell when you get there. So it's no wonder it's something we don't want to do on our own. I was taught that if you're born with love, then life is about choosing the right place to put it. People talk about that a lot, it feeling right or when it's right is easy. But I'm not sure that's true. It takes a hell of a lot of strength to know what's right. And love isn't something that weak people do. Being a romantic takes a hell of a lot of hope. I think what they mean is, when you find somebody that you love, it feels like hope. Georgia Queen. Yeah, Jack. I love your hair. Yeah. Wow, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to you all here to Lartington Hall. I, Howard Thomas Oster, take you, Georgia May Webb, be my wedded wife. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and of my love for you. I promise you my friendship, my respect and trust forever. It is now my huge pleasure and privilege to declare you are husband and wife together. and Georgia, you have gathered about you today those whom you love most. Some of your guests will have seen you grow from tiny little people to the outstanding couple we have before us today. You've invited them to receive their encouragement and their support, but I think more importantly, so that they can help you celebrate this wonderful day in your life. Georgia is the kindest person with the biggest heart and will always, always put others before herself. I've learned so much from her and hopefully have taken on some of her qualities. I know I can call her any time of day and she'll always give me good advice. The best thing is that Howard also shares the same qualities, making them the perfect pair. I'm so happy that they found each other and this is just the start of their journey together. For those who don't know me, I'm Yoni. <laughs> best man, best friend to the bride, best friend to the groom, and their eternal third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched you become the most incredible parents. Grace is so, so lucky to have you. I know it's not always been easy, but I'm in awe of how you've embraced parenthood with so much dedication and so much love. I could not ask for better friends and I feel so privileged to have watched your love grow over the years into something truly, truly special. Georgia is just incredible and it's cliche, but so true when I say I feel like the luckiest man in the world. The two most amazing people I've ever known happen to be my daughter and now my wife. 
it may come as no surprise to you, although all of this was George's doing, so thank you for inviting me to your wedding. <laughs> But what I love the most is how incredible a mum you are. Whatever happens, grace and what is most important for grace is what is most important. There have been many chapters to our lives, but I can say for certain that grace is the highlight. Seeing you being the mum you have been to grace is literally the best thing in the world, but that wasn't enough for me, as I thought we should be sharing the same name. Nine years ago, I was told about you by my uncle Steve, via my dad. You were told about me by, by Maureen. The two of them rode together way before we met. Now, two years on after being on that sand dune, here we are. I'm so excited to see what happens next. We've done so much in such little time, but it's only now that I'm realizing that we've got a whole lifetime together. Thank you, Georgia, for being you. Thank you for being my rock as I try to be for you. I really can't thank you enough. I love you. Forever and always. Always and forever. We met in a scenario we couldn't predict. We lived with freedom we didn't expect. We moved to places we'll never regret and we will always be together to see what's next. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who loves you for who you are and not for who you could be. Once in a lifetime, you're lucky enough to find that special someone as you have found each other.